What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today we're going to make some chains in Cinema 40. Alright, so uh, this one is for the people that don't know how to do this yet. Um, and if you don't have any experience in Cinema 40 and you just want to get some 3D chains for your artworks, you can also get one on the Dreadlabs web store. Uh, you get a ton of renders there, uh, just PNG files, so you don't have to do anything in 3D if, there's not, if this is not your thing. But if you are ready to learn something, uh, I suggest you watch the rest of this video. So the first thing we want to do is define the shape of like one chain. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go click here and we're going to make a rectangle. And we're gonna make one, I think five by two or something is fine. And now that we've zoomed in, we can turn on the rounding and there's a shape array. So we're gonna put this into a sweep. We're gonna hold Alt on the keyboard and this is now in a sweep. And the next thing we're gonna do is we wanna make this a round like actual 3D shape. So we're gonna go to the circle here and we're gonna hold Shift. And now this will be in our sweep as well. So we'll lower this to one and there is the shape of our chain. And I think we can just double the size of this and up the rounding again. And now we can probably make this a little bit shorter, like eight centimeters or something. And we'll make this 0.75 maybe. This looks fine. So, so basically in, in a sweep, you'll get the top shape, in this case a circle, and you basically sweep it around the rest of the shape, which will result in this shape. I said shape a lot, sorry. So we're gonna click on the sweep, hold the other option on our keyboard and click on the cloner. And on the mode here, we're gonna click on linear, and basically we'll set this Y to zero, and we'll put like, I think six, five, let's just go with five. Uh, centimeters in the X direction and then with a 90 degrees in the P rotation. Not sure what the P stands for, but all right. So now we have our chain going in here and I feel like this can be put to six as well. And now if we increase the count, we have our chains. So the next thing we want to do probably is wrap this around a uh, like spline or shape or whatever. So we're going to make one and we're going to go and grab, for example, this helix. I'll make it a little bit smaller. I will let this go upward. And with the cloner selected, I'm just going to group this and call this chain. So the way that I grouped it was pressing Alt plus uh, the letter G on my keyboard. So with the cloner selected, I'm going to go to the deformer menu right here and grab a spline wrap. And we'll put the spline wrap in the chain folder as well. And we're going to go and drag the helix into the spline here. And now this is all distorted, so that's not what we want. Uh, so instead of like the mode here, we're going to click on fit spline. We're going to click on keep length. And now if we increase the amount, there are our chains. And the cool thing is we can now distort this however we want to get like some random chain uh, going around in our scene. So for example, I'm just going to grab a bent object and rotate that all the way around and as you can see the uh, chain will just move along with it so in the cloner let's just go and double the size of the chains so it's a little bit bigger now we can make this 12 and if we up the count now we actually like now made a random chain path i guess let's play around with the position of the bend deformer here and maybe with the helix as well and we'll click on the intermediate points and we'll call it make this subdivided. All right, and there you have it. This is like a 3D abstract chain uh, scene that we did in under 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you learned something. Again, if 3D is totally not your thing and you just want to grab some PNG renders uh, for your next project, uh, you can get some on the Dreadlabs web store. Uh, if you want to get the project file for this tutorial or any project file from any of my other tutorials, you can also become a member of my Patreon. You don't only get access to all of the project files, you'll also get access to a 15% discount in my Dreadlabs asset web store, as well as a cool Discord rule. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, or you can join us on Discord. And with all of that being said, I want to thank you for watching. This was Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.